Hey everybody, it's Fidget and I am back again and today I'm showing you this this multiplier converter slash encoder whatever circuit which is uh, something that I actually kind of borrowed from Harbinger and uh, again you should check out his videos I've recommended him before he's awesome this is he's one of the people who really got me interested in this and uh, he's kind of my inspiration for a lot of this so anyway this this is the uh, the driver that he uses in his displays for uh, for pretty much everything. Uh, he uses modified versions of this for pretty much every project I've seen that he's done. Um, basically, the point of this is like uh, say you're say you're running a seven segment display like that one over there. Uh, you've got seven separate segments, hence the name, and uh, you've got to control each one of them in groups to generate letters and numbers. Now what you do is you'd lay out each of those segments would come down and be laid on the ground side by side and this has a few more than seven segments just to show that it can be done. You can make them as long as you want. You just gotta keep adding repeaters every so often. Um, basically it does nothing to them, nothing to the inputs when it's turned off like it is now. However, when you flip the switch and turn it on, again my internet's really bad so it's gonna take a little while to update. But once those once that flip switch flips and it, it will power this redstone, it will turn off the redstone that's on top up there. I'll go ahead and walk up here so you can see it. And uh We'll make it daytime because I can, and it's nice to have that in a video, and that'll update as soon as my redstone updates. Oh, there the redstone updated. Look at that. Anyway, that upper row turned off, which allowed these torches to turn on, and they power pretty much every one of these redstone lines here on the ground. Uh, notice these don't. There's no torch, so those don't light up. And these are. Uh, I should show you that. These are exactly one block above. Because just in case you can't see that in the video, they're one block above the ground, um, and they will transmit the power down one block and allow you to run the wires underneath. Um, anyway, you do have to put a gap in when you put an inverter. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not an inverter, uh, a repeater in here, because. Uh, one space isn't long enough. You've got to have one so that the redstone is going directly into the inverter. Um, so you get a straight piece going into it. You can have a crisscross piece going into it. Um, and that's what the torches cause. Let me hop up here and show you. The torches cause that little T-shape. And uh, if you put an inverter right here, and in, I keep calling them inverter repeaters, the redstone doesn't go all the way to it and it won't light it up. So and replace this. Um, so anyway, that has to be like that. And it's not a big deal. It, it really only applies if you're going further than seven uh, lines. You can make it work with seven lines. If you have one here, you can probably go eight, maybe. It's really close. It'll just barely go seven from the ground right here. But uh, I have one there, one there, just to more as a demonstration than anything, just to show you that it needs how to do it and how to make it work. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. It's a fairly simple idea and uh, a great solution. It's really simple, really easy to use, and uh, I like it a lot. Thank you, Harbinger. All right, till next time. Later, dudes.